What's going on guys? Welcome back and today we're doing a walk around on my beautiful not done 94 Mustang. Oh baby so this is just gonna be a quick overview walk around basically if you haven't been following this is uh, my 94 Mustang I got for 500 bucks and she was pretty crusty and was basically pink when I first got it. and it actually looks pink now that's upsetting so I bought this car for $500 about two months ago roughly for the single sole purpose to LS swap it. Now that is still happening, don't worry. That's actually probably the next video of this car is gonna be uh, pulling the engine out and starting to get the LS drivetrain ready to go in. Basically the last video I think we did some, we did the headlights and stuff and I kind of briefly mentioned the wheels but this is the first time I'm actually revealing this and where it's sitting right now. So this is on two inch lowering springs, Cobra 17 inch wheels. We do have the front lip on, as well as some nice smoked lens Cobra headlights. We did go ahead, paint the mirrors. We chopped down the antenna, give it a nice stubby antenna there as well. I had to spend about six hours doing a nice polish on it. We did remove some badges as well. We had to do a nice polish and wax. This had a lot of uh, peeling clear coat, as you can see a bit here. We're actually gonna be painting the hood again, as you can see, giant spot. And all I did there was, it, it's honestly not terrible. I did sand it too far in a few spots, and you can see my uh, clear coat rattle can I was using just broke and just basically dumped out all the clear coats. So now, gonna do it properly, do it the way I should have done. I have some clear coat left over from the Beamer, so we'll get some paint mixed and then basically shoot the uh, hood as well as the rear wing. These are the worst spots, but uh, I mean, to get by, $12 rattle can wasn't the worst. Other than that, we are going to have to do some tint, and we did throw on some 96 and up tail lights. And I'm very torn about these because as it sits, it looks like a Rackin. Also, we did the little bottom lip too. And I hated it at first, but it's actually growing on me and I think it might look weird if I paint these pieces color match. I think I would have to tint the uh, actual lenses on these if I did color match the housing, so I will have to see what goes on there. So basically the next step for this poor car is gonna be a nice LS transmission and we do have an 8.8. .8. We have all the parts needed. I just ordered some mounts or yesterday. So in theory, we have everything needed more or less to get this basically LS swapped. Uh, the only issues we're gonna run into are exhaust. I'm gonna make a trans cross member and I do need new seats because as I'm six foot two, these seats are just on a full recline just to be able to sit in here. I want something a little more bolstery, so I'm gonna look into that. Now it's a real shame to have some Cobra wheels, some beautiful headlights, front lip, gorgeous looking car, and then just have that in there. Paired with, it gets worse, that so that's all going so mustangs aren't new to me this isn't a new concept i've had my first car was one of these an sn95 manual v6 and then my second mustang was a fox body in 83 it was five liter five speed and then we went ahead and went full drag spec with that we went 347 stroker and uh that thing was a beast so about to step it up a notch here now as far as this goes, of course V6 isn't gonna cut it, that's going, we're throwing in an LS, but we're not doing a drag spec. We're not doing a drift spec, don't even get your hopes up. I'm gonna make a Mustang corner. Now, I know solid rear axle 8.8, not ideal. And I do have my eyes out for an independent rear suspension, if I can even find one. But for now, we're gonna run with a LS 5.3, hop that up, we're gonna get in nice stock and happy, we'll do some cam goodies, bolt-ons get a nice tune get her nice and happy we're gonna run a 4l60 behind it's gonna have a stall eventually possibly build that up we were gonna run a six-speed manual but i got a running 4l60 for 150 bucks so couldn't really go wrong there converter and all so jumped on that and then as far as the uh, rest goes we do have an 8.8 .8 with limited slip we're gonna throw in some 410 gears right away and then we're gonna have to do some front brake upgrades possibly some rear brakes but that's basically it. So, 
94 Mustang, lowered on 17 inch Cobra wheels. We do have a staggered setup, 245s in the front, 275s in the rear. And I do wish it was a little bit lower. We did just go spring, so it is static and no coilovers yet. So as far as the interior goes, like I said, I am gonna do seats. I wanna get a newer center console for the cup holders. Definitely a new steering wheel, since basically at this point, everything's gonna be custom. So we're gonna have to get rid of the old steering wheel. And then eventually, if we do keep that 4L60, I am gonna put a ratchet shifter in here. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go full manual valve body, keep it an automatic that I can sh shift manually, or eventually go with a six speed. Haven't really decided. There's not a whole lot out there, honestly, on the market. So that's basically the plans for this thing. That's how this thing looks. Nice full black interior, which I absolutely love. But guys, that's basically it for today. This is just a quick video. I'm showing off this Mustang before we tear into it. This thing's going under the knife pretty much in the next two weeks. So before it's unrecognizable, I wanted to get some footage of it, show you guys the plans. If you're interested at all, I'm like I said, we're gonna make a nice road course, daily drivable LS swap Mustang that is reliable. So if this is something you guys like and you're interested in, make sure you check out the other videos for this thing. Uh, like I said, videos are coming real quick about tearing this thing apart. Also, we have to send out that engine, possibly that diff. We're never going to use it again. We're just going to kill them. So if you have any bright ideas on how to blow that stuff up before we LS swap it, leave them in the comments because I want to get on video. I want a big bang. I want a window in the block. We'll see what we can do. So like, subscribe, watch the other videos, guys. Keep your eyes out. We got more coming on this and the Beamer and possibly picking up another car. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.